Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be reviewing tips for the removal and replacement of the Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor on this 2020 Ford Fusion with the 1.5 liter engine. If you find my tips to be helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. Now let's get started. The sensor is located in the center of the screen at the tip of my pointer. Some of the symptoms associated with a faulty sensor include rough idle, misfire, stalling, and the check engine light with trouble code P0106. So you might ask, what does this part do? Well, it captures the air pressure reading in the intake manifold and reports the reading to the engine's computer. So let's move on with our supply list. Our supply list includes a T30 Torx bit, a small ratchet, and a map sensor if needed. Please see other items in the description below. Removal of the sensor is very simple. Just go in here with your T30 Torx bit. Loosen up the screw. Then you're gonna, with two hands, you're gonna just pull it straight out. And there you have it. There is a small gasket right here, so make sure you don't drop it. And also, in order to disconnect it, you're gonna press down on the back end of this electrical connector and simply pull it off. And so there you have it. That's your sensor right here. And like I mentioned, there's a gasket. And you wanna make sure that, that that gasket is pliable. It's not brittle. It's not cracked. Because if so, it will cause a leak and possibly throw a code for this sensor. And by the way, you can buy O-rings in a separate container. So you guys can find those online, different size O-rings. And you might save yourself a couple of bucks you keep it in a humid environment where it's not too dry and it might last 10 years or so might be worth it just you might want to check that out anyway you'll note that there's a little bit of oil here on the sensor i wouldn't be too concerned with oil because it is connected to the manifold i would be concerned if there was oil above the o-ring and so that would indicate it that under a pressurized system oil is actually blowing past the o-ring and getting into this area. And if you look, this area is very dry and so is the area above the O-ring. So that tells me that this O-ring is doing its job and we're able to correctly monitor the air pressure. Give you the part number. So the part number is Bravo Victor 61-9 Foxtrot 479 Alpha Alpha. And I'll provide a link to this part in the description below. I don't really have a way to test this item because it involves several different components at the same time. But uh, if, you, if you had a diagnostic control device or, or a sophisticated testing device, you would be able to narrow down and determine whether or not this is the part that is actually throwing a code and whether or not it should be replaced. Okay, and with that, let's go ahead and reinstall the part. I'm simply going to drop it in place straight down, just like that. And then I have my screw. I'm going to get it started by hand. Okay. Coming in with my Torx bit. And it just has to be snug. So this is plastic and so is this housing. Okay. so. Please do not wrench down on here because it doesn't need it. It's nice and snug. Now I'm going to look at the rubber gasket inside the electrical connector. I see that it's not deformed. So I'm going to go ahead and slide it on the sensor. Listen for the click. And there you have it. Well, folks, this wraps up this video on the removal and replacement of the Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor on this 2020 Ford Fusion with the 1.5 liter engine. I hope you found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.